All right, YouTube, Manual Man here on uh, Call of Duty Zombies. Uh, I'm gonna go do the uh, contract grind, the schematic grinds um, on uh, the cargo in Tier 3. This is after the patch, so it's not as easy as it used to be, but if you get a thing down, it's you can get them down pretty good. There is three different versions of the spawn scenario of this. Um, technically, you still don't need any guns or ammo. Uh, all you need is uh, decoy grenades and uh, syntax, as are crucial in my opinion. But you don't need a weapon. You know. Still. And, uh, getting some cross contamination here. I should be by myself. Huh. Anyways, so you don't need a weapon. And uh, I'm going to go through this grind real quick and show you step by step and tell you how to do it efficiently. Because um, it is very easy to die here in this way. So I've already had my mishaps and now I'm a little bit more consistent. So let's see how it goes on this round and uh, see how it goes. See where he spawns me. Some areas are more favorable than others. But we'll, we'll know right away what the uh, the spawn the spawn is going to be when I take a look at the map and uh, it's much easier to do it by yourself than with somebody else I mean, there's a, I figured out a method with two people but really the other person is like a mule just kind of just lays around and does nothing while one person does all the work and then at the very end they jump into the truck from a building and they really don't get touched but that's if you're trying to grind this out because if two people are running around the speed awesome there's a rift right there um it's it makes the the uh zombies spawn harat uh, sporadically so you can't train them correctly to do what you need to do to go in certain areas so this is excellent right here all right, immediately fly over there. Let's see how this what the spawn is. Okay, it already exists. All right, so it's the easy version. Well, it's not the easy, easy version, but it's a the mid easy version. So let's see if anybody's gonna contest me. No one's coming in yet. Mark it just to make sure I know where it's at. Found the contact. There it is. So flying in and getting this one is pretty fairly easy. It's the most simple one. But then afterwards, then we got to do a strategic route all the time. It has to be done. And the way decoys are now, you only have two. You, have, you don't have any to spare. So if you lose one, you got to go back and, and go get it. So that's the thing. Go refill yourself. Oh, damn it. Didn't have momentum the gun away but technically you don't need a gun so since I came this way oh shit no I may be wrong gonna lure him away go this way there's two ways to do it when you fly him from that direction that's generally the better way to go but from now on we'll be going a different way these damn decoys don't last long anymore. And try not to destroy the truck. Um, try to throw the decoy away so you don't run over a bunch of zombies and destroy this thing. Because this is your savior for my method. So here we go. We're going to go do this. This is the fairly simple route. It's the quickest route. Try to avoid zombies as much as possible. Don't try to hit anything. Because this is your your savior. Immediately get out. Get whatever. Stow it. Don't even look at it. Just get the hell out. So now what we'll do is we'll drive back. I'm going to go a different route. There's a shorter route, but the, the chance of you hitting zombies in that direction is extremely high. And I'm trying to avoid zombies and try to keep the life of this thing. 
because this is your lifeline this is what I discovered instead of trying to stay and jump and grab and jump and move there's a way to kind of corral the zombies with the truck for something but right now I have to go get this specific contract and cancel it and I say I shouldn't have went this way the zombies are over there so right now this truck is is irrelevant we don't need it anymore but we're gonna need it the next one so here we go same routine jump over the thing get your decoy because you need to you have to have it sometimes you don't but it's god man it sucks they did that check this to see if anything good's in there don't need that for right now so since oh shit so we're gonna try to corral again do some more corralling go to the ground wait a bit Now go up. Hopefully we cleared off the field. What else was in there? I'll use that. Alright, anybody move? Yep, it's cleared out. Alright, so that's how you save your decoy. So you just kind of corral them. It's pretty easy to do. And I've just learned this method. Jump on the pole. <laughs> I've been doing it in such a different way. Um, I'm not worried about anything else. Jump on the pole, and then immediately just jump over here, cut your cord. And you can always jump on this little ledge right here, and you can grab it. Now you're safe. And the only safe spot, which I didn't discover, another YouTuber discovered this spot, but this is the only safe zone there is now in this whole realm on a roof. So, <coughs> let's take a look at the map. All right. Uh, let's see. I'm going to wait a little while. Since I saw these two, that means they're connected. But every once in a while, there'll be a spore over here. That it, it won't. Tr you, you have to get that one, too. You have to get this one and spore. And then both cancel them. And then the this one and the uh, cargo will constantly pop up. And you got to... I'll show you what I need the truck for afterwards. So I'm just waiting. So this is how you control it. So it's always on a timeline. As soon as this thing's been activated, it's been picked up and, you know, dialed the number on the little little receiver thing, it's on a, the other one's on a countdown. And if you want to control if someone's trying to, somebody's trying to contest you um, and do a bunch of, cat, bunch of cat and mouse stuff right here, you can play cat and mouse if you want. And you can... Uh, control it all the way to the realm so you can always be on a certain area where it's more favorable for you to just to cancel this and then that contract immediately pop up you go in there and fly in and grab it so that's how you can hold it instead of people like oh I hope it pops up I hope it pops up and, we'll, and everyone runs at the same time no no you need to have a strategic uh, strategy for this if someone's trying to contest you you could still do it but it's fairly easy it's just a little bit more complicated and a little bit more running around, but again, also easy. If you notice, nothing's hitting me. If they threw their meat at me, it can't touch me. Mind you, every once in a while it may hit you, you got to just kind of work your way back in a corner, right, a little bit further back, just a little bit, and they won't touch you anymore. So I'm just waiting just a little bit longer. Let's see if anybody's coming in here. There's a truck. I'm just going to a pack a punch. Okay, so I'm going to cancel this. Hopefully it pops up. Ah, the spore is there. Shit. Okay, so that's not going to pop up. I have to go get the spore. Fuck, I should have I should have looked anyway. Okay, that's all. That's fine. So let's go get the spore. And get rid of that. So you have to do these two if the spore pops up.
it's fairly easy to get back but as i say that i'll probably get nailed there's always a mega abomination down here always doesn't matter i don't know why it's just one of the areas where they spawn constantly so i still have both of my uh my uh, decoys so i'm good i don't need to go get decoys so come over here come jump over here jump kind of work your way around and work your way here get up here so now I'm going to cancel this, and it should pop up right away, I hope. Because I'm, I'm not technically in the sequence, but let's see. Because when that spores in that section, you have to do that. And so I didn't realize it was there. So now i got to wait. And it should pop up right there. Ah, oh, man, I should have looked if that spore was there. First thing I should have done was uh, cancel it quickly and go do the spore. There it is. It popped up. Okay, so my method's this. I come over here and fly over to the damn ladder and climb up the ladder. Some other people jump up to the building, but it's more of a pain in the ass. And if you're controlling, you don't really got to worry about it. So there's zombies there, but you're not going to worry. Cut your line. Go as fast as you can. It takes a split second for them to react to you. And now we're on the run. Remember, zombies are always easy. It's those damn dogs. So there's a dog. Syntax. Make sure you throw the syntax in front of you. Usually gets them. That's what the syntax are for. Keep yourself alive. And then over here, take your grenade, your decoy, throw it over here in the back run until they react they reacted get in the truck as fast as possible and again try to throw that decoy in a area where when you take off there's no zombies because if they destroy you run into like 20 zombies this thing's toast so now I'm showing you the way the method how to control it 100% now damn it Sometimes you can't avoid zombies, they're just in your way. So... Come over here. Stow whatever. I already have that. I have that. I already have that. I don't need to take it. It sucks, but... I don't need it. So let's get out of here. Man, they give me the same shit over and over again. And then every once in a while, something great. Alright. Now what we're going to do is try to keep this truck alive. It's got plenty of gas. Take, take this route. The shortcuts, you're always most likely to hit more zombies going that direction. Even though as I run over a zombie right there. <laughs> but the other way, the shortcuts, can always go down this way because... Zombies always spawn in that second area. All right, now what we're doing? Oh, okay, see, so it's already there. We're good. We're golden. Jump out. Grab it. Do the routine. And now we control it 100%. Ah, oh, shit. Whoops. I forgot. Now we control the spawn because now we don't have to go do that. Um, we don't got to go do the spore, the spore contract since everyone's cleared out. But if this uh, uh, one contract doesn't spawn right away, you use the truck and drive around in a circle. You don't drive super fast, you just kind of half-ass it. So you kind of corral the uh, zombies with it because you don't want them jaunting all over the place. You want them behind you. Yeah, I'm gonna miss that. Alright, I'm still in here. So now what we're gonna do, so now we don't gotta worry about that spore one anymore. Because that one's done, that sequence is over. It's just a weird little glitch. And we just wait here. And see what we got. I got too much nonsense, so... Um, don't need that. So, and most of this is... Drop. Did I bring a gun in? I'll use you. I'll use 
you. Uh, don't need you, but I'll use you just in case. Just drink you. Um, and uh, what else? I already have one of you at the house, so I'll keep. I'll use you. Dead shot right in the nose. Oh, I use Juggernaut. Just get rid of everything. What else we got? Uh, quick revive. Uh, anyone around? Anyone coming in here fighting in here? Eh. I'll keep it just because of online play. When I play with my buddies, that's that's a little easier. So, uh, what else? Anything else in here? take you home. Okay. Put the gun away. Alright, let's see what we got going here. Anyone floating around? I just wait a little while so I make sure I know for a fact that I'm going to get it. Because, let's see what time it is. So right around when it gets around, um, I would say, I don't know, like the last 20 minutes or so, even 10 minutes, I'd say 20 minutes. They start coming into here, the people that are fighting their way to get in here. Um, again, if you notice that, I'm just chilling out and doing nothing. Uh, sometimes there'll be a lot of zombies down there, and they'll be throwing a lot of meat, so you gotta be really, you gotta be careful. But other than that, though, this place, you'll find a spot that it won't hit you anymore, but it has to be in this back corner. It has to be back here. I mean, if you're even flat next to the wall right here, you're pretty good like that. But you gotta—I usually stay as far back where this little cigarette is right here. Um, always kind of face that cigarette, and you sh you're pretty safe. Let's see. Let's check it out. So, if you notice, know nothing else will pop up on my map. Nothing. Nothing. There's nobody there. So now, if I get rid of it, it should be. Should be long enough. I'll get rid of it. All right, team. I'll let Dr. Wait a second or two. And it's, there it is. Pops up. And now you control the spawn. So instead of doing it that way, I go over here. Hit the ladder. Yeah, damn it. <laughs> I hate that. And I'm trying to save... Decoys. Doing it this way, it can't respond to you quick enough. The other way, if you screw up and you run in, then you're kind of you have to throw a decoy. Those damn dogs! I got one on my ass. Got him. And that's what those things are for. There's another one on my ass. Almost forgot to throw the decoy. Let's get that door open, And that throw is crucial too. Your timing. All that timing, see how they're all back there, they're all out of the way now. And let's see if that thing spawns. So far we're getting really lucky, very favorable here. Now with all the goodies, not so much. That was a contract, or a, a, a contract. Uh, Whatever the hell that thing is. For the elemental. Nothing. I have everything. Damn it. Again, try to avoid him. As much as possible. Alright, what did they give us? Don't need you. Drop. Uh, I'll take you. I'll use you. Um, uh, so far, nothing that great. <laughs> I'm looking for a couple uh, legendary. Oh, damn it, why did I go this way? Okay, see, it's not spawned there. Oh man, I'm hitting everything now. Get up. 
And that truck's in the way too. Yeah, we should have put it in a different spot. Okay. Oh my god, what am I hitting? Oh my god. Oh my god. Dumb. Okay. What we're doing now is just driving around in a circle. That's what the truck's for. Because it's the only thing that can beat the damn dog. Try to avoid him, but again, easier said than done when. Uh, so now I gotta do a different route here. And eventually, even if they follow you around, they will despawn behind you. They will they will vanish. So I hear the dog, I'm not worried about it. What I'm trying to do is corral them. See they're starting to get corralled. I'm not going super fast. Can I take the same route? And I'm waiting for that other contract to spawn. So far I haven't fired one shot, even though after they did the, this is much more difficult now, but it's still possible. See, they're cr I'm crawling them. I did have to do. If you just do this, you got plenty of gas, and you wait for this escort contract to spawn. If that's what you're looking for. Not there yet. Circles. I'm gonna put the truck in a different spot next time. And those trucks will despawn after a while. There it is. So now we'll haul ass. Drop this truck off. Run. Gather it. I know it's a little boring, but this is how it's done with this new patch that they've done. And you could, I'm just showing you how efficient it could be. So, so far, so good. Pretty efficient. And now we control it. No one around since we lured them and corralled them over there. So that makes life a little easier. Get off the damn ground. Not too much time to lollygag though. You have to get off these roofs quickly. Don't really, not, don't really looking for anything in any boxes. Fortunately, you can't jump from this roof to that roof. You have to do this method. But it's always good. You could jump on this ledge right here. Kind of, oh, damn it. But it's pretty much the safest route. Instead of falling down. And rinse and repeat. And you just lay down. And look, for my, look for my cigarette. There's, this, <laughs> there's the cigarette right there. And let's see what we got. Yeah, I don't need brain rot. I don't have... I'm trying to take certain things inside with me. I'm not getting good stuff. I'll tell you that right now. So we wait here. And see if anyone's coming in. But this is how you can... This is how you can... Um, uh, do this efficiently and grind it out pretty quickly. So how many months many we got here? So we've already done it three times so far. So that's still pretty efficient. Three times with the with the new method thinking that they solved the problem. <laughs> they didn't solve the problem. Problem's not solved. It's just has you have you know, there's a couple scenarios. So here I'll show you the other scenario that could happen. So since I control it. Alright, I'll show you here. I'll zoom in. Alright, I told you there was three different spawn scenarios. Okay, first scenario is that spore contract doesn't, it's not here. Okay, just doesn't exist here. And the, um, the cargo, the cargo is there, and then the, car, the, uh, the escort is there. All right. If this, if that, uh, spore is not there, just these two are intertwined with each other and you're good. You could just get that one and you're golden get the car uh, the escort cancel it then then come over here and wait actually it may it may be here so you might want to do that if they're both there just grab it real quick go do the mission come back go grab the the escort mission and if someone has grabbed the escort mission when you're coming back and if someone done has you see the the parachutes coming down that means they've already canceled it so now what you're trying to do is grab it when it spawns right here so now you got about two minutes see I got you got someone coming in you got about two minutes 
before that thing spawns in. So you got to strategically figure out how you're going to get there before someone else gets there and gets it. So that's one of the issues too. But as soon as you control it, there's nothing they can do. There's, you know, you're driving around a circle. You know, everything is pretty good. But um, so that's that scenario. There's also a third scenario, which is the easiest scenario, is that all you have to do is grab this contract it responds over and over again you don't got to do anything and the only time when you that happens is when there's a when there is a contract here if there's a contract spawned here um it, which is well, you can't see it right now but if there's a contract spawned uh where we at right here uh that means this uh the cargo contract will spawn by itself over and over again and all you have to do is just come back go get your grenades come back over here and wait around you don't got to wait around and grab this guy and go do all that so i wait around long enough it should it will spawn in pretty quickly so i'm just going to go see it's there so that's how you control it make sure no one can test you fly in Grab it. Ooh, almost got caught. Hijack this shipment. I want a five finger discount on those terminus guns. And every time you do this, there'll be more and more zombies. Every single time. Every time you do this. So, same routine. We got 20 minutes. We got a. Well. So, this is number four. So, so far, that's pretty good. Four contracts, four tier three contracts. Hopefully, you get something good. We'll see. That is always in the way, man. I knew it was still gonna still be there. It's all right. So I'm gonna drive around. From so, so they despawn, get the rest of the shit. Don't really need that. If it was a schematic, that'd be fantastic, but not what I'm looking for. All right, so it looks like this thing's almost toast, so we're gonna have to be on the run. Try to avoid as much as possible. Hopefully, they're going. Ah, man. That's over. Yep, this is like, this is the, the, <laughs> try to get out of their route. Great. Not what I'm looking for in that section. Tell you one thing though, they, de they definitely changed the spawns. The spawns are totally different. But there you go, that's how those, uh, Damn, my hellhounds get help dealt with. So I gotta go do my routine. Oops, what am I doing? I 
Oh, okay, it's there. So since we lollygagged a lot. Shit, can't get hit again. Approaching drop zone, JCV on board. Enjoy the detour. Defend the ether containment vehicle while it does its thing. Over to you, Barrett. Well, we survived that disaster. <laughs> that was close. That was a close one. Survived that disaster. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. See, I said around you know, 15, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, people start coming in here. Shit. All right. Now we control it still. We still control it. Oh, man, that was close. That was close. Almost died. Okay, what do we got here? Nothing. <laughs> I, I didn't need the, the wonder of Zufa Wafa, whatever the hell that was. I need the contract for it. I'll take the schematic, but I don't need that right now. It's just going to impede me. That's not what I'm using need it for. I'm not killing anything. So now, let's see. So we got quite a few people roaming around here like little roaches. You'd say they look like little roaches, don't they? Just kind of wandering around. Look like they don't have a life of their own. Just kind of just turning and wobbling. And there's no really pattern. What you see is just kind of here, there, there, here. It's kind of funny. So now we got people floating around. And if they're looking for that contract, I control it now 100%. 100%. So... If the spore contract and there, and there sometimes there'll be two spore contracts in that corner there, in this corner right here, it's the one that's always on the ground in the building going this way, not the one over here on the patio sit on um, up high. It's always the one down below. Grab that one, and you got to grab that one and cancel that one. That will trigger these two to spawn with each other, and this one will never you never have to deal with this one anymore. So, so far we're, what are we, halfway in? More than halfway in? Three quarters way? And uh, still controlling it. Also, you got to be careful with these guys that are coming in as well. Because they will corral zombies in a way where you don't want them to be. If you're, you're jumping over here in this section, you're trying to avoid zombies. If they're corralling them, there's a bunch there. There's nothing you can do. You have to throw a decoy. And you're trying to save your decoys as much as you can. You, if you can't, you so you, you're you on the move. So you throw a decoy right here. That means you got one more left to throw a decoy over here. And if this one doesn't work out for you, you're SOL. You're, you're toast. You're gone. So how many have we done this now? So that's four. Four times. So this is the f fifth time. We can do it five, six times. That's pretty good in Tier 3, getting six contracts done in, in staying in Tier 3. So, got a guy going over there. So, I think we're good. So, we're going to cancel. It should pop up. There it is. Try to fly to this damn ladder, which I always frickin' miss. And now there's no one close enough to contest me. As long as you're on the move. You jump in and do it at the right time. It takes a couple seconds for them to react to you once you hit the ground. And since they're over there, you have to go this way because they're all back there. It's where they all spawn, even though they may be in the front of you too. Throw that goddamn Zin Syntax. Damn hellhounds, dude, just come out of nowhere. The zombies are irrelevant. And throw your decoy. Kind of loop them. And now they're all moving. They'll be all out of the way. Oh, man, dude. That fucking damn thing. Luckily, I have one more... Damn. Sorry for the cussing. I got one more of those. 
Kind of threw it in a bad spot. Try to drive around these guys. All right, we made it. <laughs> Thank God for the soap revive. Okay. And see, that's the reason. That's the reason why I don't like using a a, a decoy to uh, trying to get this contract. That's the exact reason why. Is that you never know what's going to happen. And luckily, I had two there. Now this one here. Sometimes there's a goober out there floating around that's not part of this little group. That's why you gotta, you gotta do this fast. Nothing. So we got one more chance. Hopefully I don't go down. That's five times. We're gonna go for six. Okay, since I don't have anything. I got plenty to go to the Wonder Fizz machine and buy everything, but I can't do it right now. So. I'm going to do some training. Let's see what's going on around here. I'm gonna go a different route here. I got everything, don't really need it, but I got it. Run back, do the damn routine over and over and over again. Let's see if it's sweet. Look. Oh, nope, seven seconds. Trying to be as smooth as possible on your jumps, and see so now we got two morons here, and then you gotta get to your spot. Go. Oops, see I'm getting hit. Yeah, sure. She got on the ground here. Be safe. Yep, okay. That little cigarette right there facing it. Yeah, there's a little sweet spot right here. Okay, so what do we got here? And let's do that. And then uh, what we'll do is we'll take care of these damn uh, zombies down there. Deployed. I'll take care of them. Maybe not. <laughs> what else we got? Man, I have this not a good run, I'll tell you what. What have we got? What have we got? Uh, quick revive. I'll take another one of those in. I don't really need the juggernaut, but uh, I already have one of those. Oh, you bastard. Drop you, I don't need you. Put the guns away. Okay, what time is it? 7.28. Okay. Nope, those guys came and went. 
Alright, where's the ether storm at? Where is it at? Right here. Okay, so that means the furthest one's gonna spawn over here. But I'm probably gonna go here because I'll be here at the end of the at, after the end of this uh, contract here. But I'm just showing you how efficiently you could do it. Yeah, I went down, but I had a you know self revive, so I got lucky, and I had that extra uh, decoy, which is crucial. Um, some people see all the meat being thrown at me. So in the later tiers, man, the later times they just start throwing shit all over you. So this is the only spot where they really can't hit you. But yeah, you know, at first I was having a, a lot of problems trying to solve this problem, and before I was just let's see, it got me a little bit. And turn, turn back. Sometimes the character kind of meanders. Yes, yeah, it's getting close, but no cigar. All right, yeah. So I was dying left and right, and I just couldn't figure it out. And then I finally figured it out that it was mostly me not making the jump over there at the corner. And then, and so once I control it, like right now, I control it by not accepting that and not doing that. It will never spawn in, never spawn unless I cancel that. And hey, damn it, he's not hitting me down there we go and so i figured out well instead of doing that i just jump over to the uh to that ladder over there try to fly as far as possible and then jump and then fly in and it's a guarantee fly in quick and grab it and don't really have to worry about uh zombies you got to be quick about it get the shit done and but let's see anybody anyone coming in here and okay, so that should be it right here. Let's cancel. All right, team. I'll let Dr. Barrera down gently. See, there's that spawn, the spore one. It doesn't matter. It's irrelevant now at this point. That didn't spawn in. Sometimes, though, it does jam up. So I'm not going to lie. Uh, every once in a while, there'll be a jam up. And it won't... Everything will stop. So let's say, like... It, for instance, if you go and you get the cargo contract, you go and get it, but there's too many zombies or the thing blows your thing up, and you cancel that contract because you can't do it anymore because it's blown up, um, then it will trigger this not to spawn anymore. As a matter of fact, it will trigger none of this to spawn anymore. It will just be dead no matter what. So if that scenario happens, that whole game scenario you're trying to do is over. It's done. So what it's looking like to me here is I may have to re redo this one over here, which is interesting because I never had to do that before. Four minutes. Because nothing, it should have popped up by now. So... And there's a mega down there. Alright, so I'm gonna try to gather this one. There's always a zip line on each corner on each side at each end on, on the opposite side. So you always remember that, that, that that's there. Of course there's a mega down there. I'm going to try to do this with one. Whoops. Come on. All right. Let's see if it pops up. We got one chance. The ether storm is where again? Right here. So it's going to spread. Sorry, Barrera. Next time we will do better. That's the only risky part. Is that damn? Um, is that damn spore one? Because it may screw up the the spawn rate. 
So if it if I don't get anything, if it doesn't spawn in within the next two minutes, then I'm out of here. There it is. See, it controlled it, so it's there. So we're gonna go do this. It's the last one. Yeah, try to hit that damn ladder. I only have one decoy, so I have to hit this. Good thing for Juggernaut. Okay. Uh-oh. Don't hit too many of them. All right. Oh, my goodness. I knew I threw that in a real bad spot, but we're good. Okay, so this is in and out. Get it and go. Get it and go. Give me something good, but again, I'm showing you this method. I think this is six tries. As you were, strike team. As you were. Ah. Well, that was a dud run, but I wanted to show you how it could be done. So now we're gonna get out of here because that ether storm is close to this section. So we're gonna get out of here. And uh, yeah, so that's how we do it. I did go down, but I did have a uh, revive, so that was good. Yep, not driving too great right now, but it's all right. Should have stayed down here in the first place. I knew we stay up here. And get a little bit of grinding for this gun that I need. And it's the first shots I'm firing. Just for the camel grind for it. These little submachine guns. Unfortunately, I didn't really get much. I don't want riding an extraction point now. You, you, LB is hot. Move you. it. Your X bill is going to need an X bill. Trying to get as much as possible for this gun because I need this to grind it out here. And that is that. Let's pick up a gas mask. I'll take that. What? Your mom never teach you to be on time? Extract Elo departing easy. See you soon, Deadbolt. 
And that was that. So that's how you did it. You do it. It's fairly efficient. I think I had six in, maybe seven, but I think it was six. And yeah, I didn't take in really much. There's nothing there, but the possibility of you getting stuff is still pretty high in one run. And uh, that's how it's done. And uh, hope everyone enjoyed it. Uh, so people can practice on their own and try to grind for their their high schematics or something they're looking for. And that's that. So everybody, have a good one.